Audi's mid-size sedan performs admirably and can hold our attention, even in base trim. Most versions will get a turbocharged inline 4 that makes 252 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque, an 8-speed automatic, and all-wheel drive, which Audi calls Quattro. There's a lot to like about that trio, which earns it two points above average. We nearly awarded another point for a good ride, but stopped short, the competition has caught up, or in some cases surpassed the A6 only front drive models of the A6 get a 7 speed automatic that is admirable in its proficiency. It's a dual clutch automatic, so upshifts are rapid fire fast, but it's built for efficiency and wildly better than an old continuously variable automatic that was standard in prior years. Most versions will be equipped with all-wheel drive that automatically adds an 8-speed automatic that we like for its ability to find, hold, and swap gears with ease. An optional supercharged 3.0-liter V6 is rated at 340 horsepower and features mostly the same running gear as Turbo 4 versions. It's found in 3.0T versions of Premium Plus trims and standard on Prestige versions of the A6. The A6 is adept in its handling in every model, but not necessarily inspired. In our drives of numerous versions of the A6, we've found it to be competent but also lacking direct feedback that we'd expect, especially with more power. That's not hugely surprising considering sporty drives are the direct purview of the more powerful S6, but we would have appreciated a little trickle down. There's a wild card. The available competition package adds a sport-oriented rear limited slip differential that we've enjoyed on other models. We haven't sampled one on an A6 yet, so we can't definitively determine how it would react, 